here is a speed time graph for a car journey. The journey took 100 seconds. We can see that from the graph. The car traveled 1.75 kilometers. So we've got a problem with units here. So we've got meters per second here, kilometers here. So we're going to need to make them the same. So let's have 1,750 meters. Kilometers to meters is times by a thousand. Whenever you have K, it means a thousand. K means a thousand. So K meters, thousand meters. Work out the value of V. So what we need to know about speed time graphs, we need to know the area underneath the graph is the distance traveled. And we need to know that the gradient is the acceleration. So work out the value of V. So the area underneath equals 1,750. Um, so how do we work out the area? We could do a trapezium or a triangle or rectangle triangle. So we could work out the area by working out a triangle, a rectangle and a triangle or a, tra or a trapezium. Um, I'll do a triangle rectangle triangle. So 20 times V is 20 V. Divide by 2, 10 V. 40 times V is 40 V. And 40 times V divide by 2, so half base times height for a triangle is 20 V. So the total area is 70 V. And that equals 1,750. So 7V equals 175. So how many 7s go into 175? 7s into 1 is none, remainder 1. 7s into 17 is 2, remainder 3. 7s into 35 is 5. So V is 25. So 25 meters per second. is the speed up here. Describe the acceleration. So remember, acceleration is the gradient for each part of the journey. So for 20 seconds, we're accelerating. Then for 40 seconds, we're going at a constant speed, so no acceleration. And then for 40 seconds, we're decelerating. So first 20 seconds, we are accelerating. But then for 40 seconds at a constant speed, so no acceleration. And then for 40 seconds, we're decelerating. 